Okay, so this is like a little review on how to switch an old clutch fan to um, nice, nice new and efficient electric fans. Um, to start off, this, this is um, a small block 350, very common, there's millions of them. But um, they had the old clutch fan set up on there for a very long time and I noticed that the clutch wasn't actually disengaging. So at really, at really high RPMs when I mashed the throttle, it just had this whoosh of air and it just wouldn't stop and it made my belt squeak the whole bit. It was terrible. So I, I rummaged through my dad's old car stuff, his piles, and I found these electric fans. I have no idea what they're from or, or how he even got them, but I managed to rig them to, to my old, uh, really old radiator. This this is a radiator mount that I made myself. It's just some sheet metal that I cut holes into. These are actually for um, like um, like um, like a shower curtain rack, but they're only a dollar and they're actually really strong. And there's one at the bottom and on the other side in the middle, and it's actually it works fine. I I'll make a, a much nicer one later on, obviously that'll work better. But this one works for now. Um. For these fans to work, you have to have a fan controller, which is this little guy right here. This one was like 52 bucks on Amazon. It's um, it's an adjustable one, and basically I can set the turn on and turn off temperature. There are ones that are that are set, like um, there are ones that are set permanently to like 185 on and 175 off. But since my truck runs at 205, there wasn't anything close enough. Uh, the wiring is pretty straightforward. There's a wire that goes from the battery to your fans. There's a wire that goes from the battery to the controller and then a ground. And there is a little yellow wire that connects to a 12 volt um, ignition source. I have mine hooked up to my electric choke, which, which only turns on when you turn on the key, so it works. There's a thermal probe on it. And there are ones that poke into your radiator, but I don't, I didn't want to poke a giant hole in my radiator to do that, so I bought this. Uh, one inch spacer from a website and you just drop it on there and this little probe just screws right in there and it just plugs into the controller. Um, make sure not to uh, to tighten these too much because this is um, an, an Edelbrock uh, performer and the uh, it's aluminum so it's not exactly the toughest threads you know. Alright so so let's talk about horsepower and fuel economy. Since my old clutch fan was uh, stuck on 100% all the time, I, time I gained a lot of power. Um, on most dyno tests that that compared clutch fans to the electric fans showed a gain on average of 14 horsepower, and that's if your clutch is working correctly, which mine wasn't and on fans that were permanently bolted to the front pulleys like the really 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 old cars it robbed like eleven percent power which is a pretty big deal um, this motor now pulls right past a hundred before you can blink and it never did that before so i'd estimate around twenty five to thirty horsepower that i didn't lose i didn't create horsepower i just freed it up However, this fan was not working correctly. It was stuck on all the time. It was causing an array of problems. Problems like my belts were squeaking all the time. A huge whoosh of air. and the, But actually, the RPMs didn't uh, ramp up as quick with the old clutch fan. Like, um, like um, if I revved my engine from a dead stop, like the clutch fan was causing quite a bit of turbulence. But with the electric fans, it revs up real quick, real nice, and it just pulls like a mother. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, this radiator is a huge radiator. It's about twice the size of a normal radiator because this this um this truck used to have a 283 in its stock, and those were notorious for overheating. And it was meant for a tow vehicle. Tow vehicles overheat more, plus plus those dumb little 283s. So they put a, this massive radiator in here. So I don't overheat like at all. And today is a 106 degree day in the glorious town of Hemet. It is so hot that people just aren't going outside right now. It's really hot out here. It's 
here and this didn't even this didn't overheat like I did a bunch of burnouts I mashed the throttle like randomly from dead stops from my 20 miles an hour 50 and it and it didn't even go over its normal operating range one really nice thing is the electric fans pull a lot of air at idle which that fans not going to do because the rpms aren't high enough these aren't really too loud actually with the motor running and these on you can't really notice them at all which is pretty cool and they blow about a thousand CFM probably each they're not exactly very powerful one thing to note when the fans turn on at a dead stop it does um, it does pull a little bit more juice from the alternator but it causes your RPMs to drop a little bit My, mine were about 75 it dropped so I just turn I I am I turned up my idle speed screw just a little bit to compensate and it works fine I mean today is like 106 105 degrees and it didn't overheat so there's no way this thing's overheating in any other situation and it was pretty cool like I gained horsepower um, I haven't done any fuel economy tests because I don't drive this car enough to do that but but I'm assuming that it's gonna get better gas mileage just because that fan is not on 24 7 so um, I hope this helped you um, if you have any questions Please, please ask me and please know angry, hateful stuff.